Jambo, my brother. Jambo, sir. How are you? Ah, mzuri sana. Ah, uh, you speak Swahili? Yes, I do speak Swahili. Actually, I'm coming from the east of the country. I was born there, so my birth language is Swahili. Here in Kinshasa, we do speak Lingala, and since I'm here a little bit more than 10 years... Since you speak uh, Lingala, I need I, to say Mbote. Mbote, Mbote na yo. What next? I'm Laurent, sorry. No La Laurent? Lawrence? Yeah. Oh, Lawrence. okay. Born and raised in... In, in Congo. Congo. In the, in the east of Congo, in Kivu. You ever left the country? Uh, yes, I did. I did. Uh, actually, when I was eight years old, I left and I used to live quite a lot of, of my life in Europe, in Belgium. I did travel a little bit o o over there, so I used to live in Spain, so I speak Spanish also. My best friend is coming from Italy. I, I learn Italian. So I really do appreciate uh, languages, so okay. I try to, to do my best in different languages. And um, yes, it's been a little bit more than 10 years that we are back in, in our country. Uh, so. You lived how long abroad? Uh, I'm 41 actually, and I live like half abroad, half in, in, in Congo. And um, you've been back for how long now? A little bit more than 10 years, almost 11. And we, are, we came back and we started with, uh, with a company, with the fruit juices. As you said, that the idea was really to promote it and to produce locally because like, we realized when we came back that uh, quite a lot of products, or to say like m almost 99% of the product were imported. And we got everything. We got like, you know, a lot of raw material, mm. what we know just in Africa. Uh, raw material is really interested interested the entire world. Yeah. Um, every outside country come and, and take it and do, they do transform it after and uh, bring it they, back to us. Bring it back to us and, yeah. and we buy it. The fact that you lived abroad, knowing that everything is freshly produced from the country, now being exported abroad and then refined into a finished goods and send it to us here. You lived abroad all your life, right? Yeah. Quite a quite a lot of. Why? I mean, I mean, a lot of Africans living here really want to go there, mm -hmm. you know, to live their best life and they don't even want to come back here. Exactly. I mean, why would you have that and still come back to Africa? Since I left, uh, I had that chance to come to came back every like two or three months per year because my dad still used to live. He did travel a lot in different countries. So I had that chance to go to different countries in Africa. Mm. And it was like always for me, it was kind of places where I, I really felt home in, in Africa. Uh, and I do really realize when I, when I came back to Congo that everything, uh, they, we have a lot of opportunity. I didn't create anything. Just, I'm doing fruit juices. Everyone can do that. Yeah. But just like when I came and I, I get to a store, it was like our entire row was like full of imported fruit juices. And as I remember, in, when I was a baby, I was like drinking juices, was locally made in, in Zaire at that time, uh, before it, it, it became before Congo. Congo. Uh, and just like, you know, going in, in the back countries, you, you see a lot of raw material, a lot of fruits, and we are not doing any transformation. So we just say, okay, let's start. Let's start it. We started in, in my dad's kitchen. And we were like knocking on neighbor's doors or, or our friend. And, and they were buying it and we said, yeah, we are looking for that. That's true that at the beginning, my, my first client was expatriated people. Uh. Then um, uh, Congolese from uh, the diaspora was like used to live outside. But right now with that product, who's my best seller right now is the ginger. Okay. I really get um, local cli uh, clients. Oh, yeah. uh, they are really crazy about that with all the goods that ginger can have. And People are really crazy about that. They like they like the the, the spicy taste of, of it, and um, the roots of ginger that I'm using mm. it's that's it's small roots, really really spicy, and that one is called uh, uh, ginger from Congo, Congo gingers. Yeah, in Lingala it's Tangawisi Congo. Okay. We call it Tangawisi ginger. Where do you get the raw materials from then? Uh, it's coming uh, from the back country. Uh, the area is called Congo Central. Uh, most of it comes from there, but for example, for passion fruit, who's my second best seller, I get it uh, from there also, but as it's periodic, I don't have it uh, all years okay. long. 
So uh, right now the period is over and I bring it from the east, from oh. where I, I'm coming, coming from. from. Yeah. So it's more like you giving back to where you're coming from because those are farmers from where you're coming from. You buy from them exactly. and then you refine it into something else. Exactly. I transform it and I, and I give it like, uh, or you say like the additional value, uh, we, we can say. And I really wanted to work like your uh, hands to hands with them. I really need, I need them. I need farmers. And that's true that when at the first step when I met them, uh, they were like, you know, all doing the same stuff, all doing vegetables. So, uh, and they were like, okay, we don't sell quite a lot. And that's for business and that's for life. It's really um, important to have different income, not, not doing only one, one thing. Okay, we are doing fruit juices, but uh, we do promoted others, local products from other entrepreneurs. I got a friend in, in, in the East who's doing coffee and chocolate. Uh, I give him the opportunity to, to sell it in Kinshasa. We are, uh, Kinshasa is a huge, huge and, and big city. Mm. Uh, I do import it from, from there also meat, fruits, vegetables. Uh, I do sell fish also, oh, wow. just I'm trying to have different incomes. Mm. And that's, uh, yeah, uh, something that I can tell to a lot of, of people, try to do different things. And so you do, you do everything in here? Everything is Congolese, everything is doing here. From stuff that I'm imported, I'm not doing that. This is my main business, fruit juices. I really try to work and to produce 100% Congolese. Uh, I didn't have any problem with, with other communities, and, but just like, you know, I really want people to know that like, working together, we can do really great things. Wow. That's that's, really that's impressive. So, which means that you're also creating employment in Congo. Exactly. How yeah. many people work for you right now? Uh, about like 20 people directly, but just like after, as I said, you know, if you buy Jumbo, it's not only money who's getting in Jumbo uh, uh, enterprise. Yeah, I'm working with farmers and, you know, all that people, they get family. They get uh, a lot of people around them. And are Congolese consuming it? Yeah. They do start it with that, with that product right now. And um, step by step, you know, just like all the message we wanted. For example, when we open a, a bottle over here, you have that message. Oh, you wow. got the herd with the flag of Congo, oh. telling them that, you know, uh, consuming Congolese, it's, a, it's something patriotic. I would love to see how it's been done. Maybe if you can take me to sure. the factory, but for now, this is Bisap, eh? This is Bisap, yeah. Can I have sure. it? Sure, this is for you. So this is the Congolese flag. And I know I know Bisap, but he said the best selling is the ginger. But because I know Bisap, that's why I want to use Bisap. Let me help you, sometimes it's a little bit Jeez. hard to help it's hard to. <laughs> you know, Tell me the truth. I'm gonna tell you the truth. You know, I'm being yeah. honest, yeah? But you see, since this is made in Congo, I need to speak, um, how do you call it, Lingala. <laughs> because I just tasted it and it tastes so sweet. Very, you have ginger in here? No, no. there's no ginger. There is a little bit of mint. Mm. We did put mint. That's the right word. You know, how do you say this in Swahili, man? Is it butamu? Exactly, that's the point. You get it. Yeah, you know, yes. wait, 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 when you call Swahili. No, that's Swahili? <laughs> ah, I thought that's Lingala. Yeah, so, Butambo uh, Sana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and where can we find this? Uh, we, we find it in the supermarket, um, a little bit everywhere in Kinshasa. Uh, um, but I'm, that's true that I have, have people who's like asking me for that abroad. I, I can send it to you. You can find the, the link. We are on Instagram, for mm. example, jumbo um, underscore juice, uh, ju, uh, J U S. Uh, we are on Facebook. Um, if you go on the internet and you, you write like jumbo juice DRC, you're going to find all the contacts. This person looks like you. This is me. Actually, this is me. And who is this? This is my brother, who actually looks like Obama. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, wow. The brother looks like Obama, man. So you started this business with your brother? 
Yeah, we started. Uh, we are still working uh, together. That's true. At the, at the beginning, we were like looking for a logo because like we were doing juices, as I told you. We were like selling it to the neighbors, to our friend. And we had that name already, Jambo, uh, as that means hello in Swahili or Burst language. But we didn't have any stickers, uh, anything, uh, anything on it. But like people like get started and uh, talking about that and they were calling it the juice from the brothers. Oh, okay. So that, at that time we said, okay, we're going to put her head on it uh, and, and that's from where the ID came. That's amazing. Take me through the factory oh, okay, and I'll let's ask you go. the next question. Okay, Maya, welcome. Welcome to the factory. Thank you. So I'm going to explain you shortly how do, you, how do we work over here. Mm. We are going in one way direction. Okay. That, so we come outside with like, let's say the most, the, the less clean stuff. Mm. And we are going on one way. So here, over here, we got like two places from washing stuff. Mm. When we got the, the, the food from outside, first of all, when we receive it, we put it on the scale, we, we uh, select the best fruits we're gonna wash it uh, first time and put it in the, in the yeah, cold, 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 room. cold room after every day we just like thinking out of the cold room what we need for the day okay we're gonna wash it again before entering and that's always a way to select the best the best fruits mm. because like if, if one fruit start to be like you know, not good anymore it can contaminate the other one uh, exactly. so after we get in here we wash it again we got different places where we, we wash material also. And then we got different pots. That one here, they're cutting mango for the moment. Mm. We got also passion fruit. Those passion fruits come from the east of the country. Uh, because here in, uh, in Kinshasa for the moment, the season is over. But we got different passion fruit over here. We got the yellow one, mm. who's bigger, with it's more smart. juice inside. But those one, the purple, uh, the taste uh, and the smell, uh, it's, it's better. So we try to mix it, Both of them. and when we do the transformation to promote, it, you know, the, um, to give the, the opportunity uh, to the farmers to work on other stuff, and because we need really, really more. So I just, if I can send a message just like to all the farmers here in Congo, mm. if they are really interested to, to do some other stuff, I really need ginger, I need passion fruit, I need mango, I need lemon. Um, I need bisap flowers, yeah, hibiscus mm. flower, all that I can buy everything they can produce because like, you know, I'm really uh, limited in my, my um, progression by uh, missing the raw material. Which means the demand is high now. The demand is higher, I got demand from uh, abroad, from outside the country and you know, I, I really want to do that but not starting and not be able quickly to to answer the, the demand you know just like that way you're, you're not like serious and, and, and uh. that's not the point but my dream and i'm really working every day for that is to put in every country of the world a bottle of juice where it's right coming from Come. drc doing from Congo. here they do cut uh, uh, and take what we have inside we got like small machine. It's uh, it's not really industrial yet. It's half, half, you know, manual. But at least you started from your kitchen and now you are here. Exactly. So which means that's the point. We are, we, ahead. Yeah, yeah. We are growing up. You are growing up uh, okay. for sure. And so over there, uh, here we got the the place where they're gonna fill it up after. Uh, here we have a machine. Actually, our juices are natural. We don't put any additive on it. We don't put conservative, mm. um, but we do pasteurize. We do pasteurize. Is here it's a pasteurized either. So it means that over there, first of all, it's going with water to clean the machine. Okay. Mm. After we're gonna have juices here, full of juice. It's gonna enter the machine. It's warming up. We we do but the degrees that we need, it's going to depend. It's between 69 to 72, 73 degrees, depending mm. on the kind of juices we use. When the temperature is okay, it send it over here. And then we're going to start and fill it up quickly. We do close the bottle 
and then we put it in the in, in, so in the cold, cold room. room again. Okay, and there's all the production of today is gonna be sell in the two or three the two, tomorrow until the three next day. Uh, that's with the pasteurization we we keep the DLC uh, is gonna be longer. Mm. The difficulty with my juices, uh, as we don't put any conservative, it's we keep it the most natural we can. You have to keep it on the cold place. Mm. The, the, that have to be in, in, in a fridge, and uh, all that chain have to be to be controlled. So the test that we made on our juices, that more than three months, the juices it's okay if it's been kept on the cold place. Mm. But to be sure, because we know we are in Africa, we get problem of energy, all that. We put a DLC of one month and a half. Oh, okay. that we, but sometimes... That's, we, a, that's expiring date. Expiring date, yeah, exactly. But uh, when we do receive it back, uh, if it's been kept on a good place, the juices is still good. What we do at that time, we give it. We give it, you know, just like... Because like we try, we test it, we see if it's still, if it's still okay. Uh, we gave it, like, you know, just like... A, from the, the child who's in the street. Mm. Uh, yeah. we, know, we know that it's still so good for consumption. Right. True. Uh, because like so, sometimes we, we can have like juices, we see that it, they didn't have be kept mm. on a good place, mm -hmm. so that one we threw it away. What has been the major challenge so far? The major challenge here, uh, for example, the packaging, it, it's, a, it's a big challenge. Uh, it's really hard to find good packaging as a, I have a, a lot of friends of different entrepreneurs mm. who's doing jam, for example, who's doing quite a, uh, my wife is doing a dessert uh, also. It's, the packaging is really, really uh, tough to, to have it. After it's, you know, starting a business in, in Africa, as we started, for example, we started like that. Without having, you know, any kind of authorization, all mm. that, we, mm. it, it's quite easy to start. Yeah. But after to 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 grow up, to to be like a big industry, <laughs> all that, this is difficult. You you got a point. You have that impression that you have like you know the roof, that you got a top, okay. and, and, and you can go go after. We need money, for example, for for machine. But we got some people, some investors who, who came and say, okay, I got a million dollars and I, I want to buy that machine who can produce like 10,000 liters per, per hour. Oh. But at that time, this is, um, we refuse it because like we don't have hand or fruits, for example, to do this. Okay, we're going to buy that machine and make it work 10 minutes on the day. That's not, that's, that, that's not clever, you know? Exactly. And that's, uh, if, I, if I can give, uh, you know, just like some, uh, advices to people, you know, just that go step by step, uh, do one step and, uh, at, a, at a time, and don't want to go too fast because, like, you have to think uh, about all, all that stuff. Mm. And to that people, uh, that that man who came in wanted to 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 invest like one million dollar, I tell him, okay, you can invest it in into agriculture because, like, if we you bring me a lot of food, a lot of food, that way. It's intelligent to buy that machine. And after, we, we're going to make, make money. money. That's so I, are you planning in investing in agriculture someday? Uh, directly, no. Because like I'm not a farmer. Even if I'm coming from the East, we, where we are farmers, mm. and, and, and that, that's not my, my, that's not my job. Oh. Wow. Something happened. Yeah, this is, this is, this is electricity. Wow. <laughs> this is energy. This is, uh, I mean, are we still recording? Because this is the kind of problem that exactly. they face, you know, like production is going on and the country just switched off the light. Uh, anyway, come okay. out and let me ask you my next question. If you have something to tell Congolese out there, what would that message be? Just, just to realize that our country are blessed. From, we, we got everything. We know that, just like you know, we got like uh, gold. Uh, we got petrol. We got like everything. We got cobalt. You know, all that <laughs> inside. It's Congolese. It's Congolese, and we do export that. Even just like no, we, we didn't even really export. People from outside come, and they do export from themselves. You know, and after we we buy that, we can. I know that there is a project from. Um, the first Congolese phone. We are starting to do it. I can, I feel that right now stuff are changing. There is quite a lot of people, maybe quite a lot like me, coming from um, 
who get that opportunity to 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 travel abroad. Mm. But even here in in, in Congo, I I met quite a lot of young people. You know, right now with the internet, you can you can learn everything from uh, directly online, for example. And and I think that we have that spirit of entrepreneurs here uh, in, in Congo because like, okay, you just have to do it by yourself. Do it by yourself. Find a way uh, to struggle. The woman over here uh, in, in Congo, I'm really completely in love of, of Congolese women because like they, they work a lot. They're taking care of us, of the children, uh, of, and they're doing business. And we just really have to realize that we got everything over here. We have to consume Congolese, uh, to produce Congolese uh, and, and to be proud of that. And, but I'm really feeling that stuff are changing. Quite a lot of, of, of people are into that mood and just, yeah, keep it that way. Do you think that the Congolese in the diaspora, I mean the Congolese abroad, can help change the face of Congo? I really do believe that uh, and, and I see it every day, you know, just like when I'm, I'm uh, working in Kinshasa, I met quite a lot of people who just like, hey, you're, you're here, you're, you're not like in France anymore, no, just like, man, I left, it's just like, you know, no, no more opportunities over there and there is everything to do. As I told you, we are doing fruit juices. Everyone can do that. We, I didn't create anything. I'm just like, okay, we just realized like something we're missing. Okay, we why did. there is no, no more Congolese fruit juices? I don't know, that's a pity. And that we say, okay, let's do it. Just like start doing your stuff. Every, every people get IDs and the difference is just like uh, having an ID and keeping it in your mind, it's not. there is no value on that. Just like start it. Even if you get like, I really love to say that, you know, I started my business with 100 bucks. Mm. was not really true because like I was at that home and you know, just like, I, but I did start with bottles. The first juices, it, it was the bottles that we, we were like having water in, uh, in, in my the, home when they're empty. I was like putting my, my, my juice inside and knocking on the neighbor's doors. And I start somewhere, just like from where you are to the first point, start it. And after you go, you're gonna learn. Doing going step by step is gonna. If you way. had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what will you change? Wow, that's um, maybe the way that just like we see ourselves. I think just that we it, it's a question of, of mindset. Uh, having just not that like maybe that complex of inferiority that we can have. Just like forget about that. We are just like, you know, everything, the humanity starts over here in Africa. We have to, re to remember that. And that we are capable of everything. We can do the same thing and we can do even better. I don't know, where do we see Jumbo Juice in the next five years? Uh, that's true that we have a Pan-African vision. Uh, if you see on the logo, um, you see on one side you have the map of Africa, on the other side you get the map of Congo. Mm. Uh, that's true that that brand, uh, that's two head from uh, Obama and myself, my bro and myself, uh, we really wanted to do it a brand, uh, a Pan-African brand. That's mean that tomorrow if there, we got like some people who is interested to do that in Cameroon or in Ghana, for example, why mm. not with you, Maya? Yeah. Uh, we can do it, uh, you know, we keep it Africa on one side, we put the map of, of Ghana and we do local produce. We really have, you know, that um, uh, uh, small circuit. Uh, for example, I don't know if in Ghana, I've never been to Ghana, uh, if there is no mango or no passion food, we don't do that, but we have another food Foods. like typically from, from Ghana, Ghana and we do promote it. And after, you know, people who's gonna travel uh, around um, around Africa, they're gonna find Jumbo in Ghana one day, to, uh, the day after they're in, in Senegal, they find Jumbo again. And you know, that's start to be Pan-African. I'm really feeling like a, a, like an African because I get that chance with my dad who used to, to work in, in quite a lot of country in Africa. Africa. So yes, I, I used to uh, get a chance to, to live in, in Senegal, in Benin, where we discover BSAP and here in Rwanda, in, in Congo, in Congo Brazzaville. So yeah, I'm feeling home a little bit everywhere in Africa. I just want to say that thank you so much for talking to me. Thanks um, to you. Bro. I mean, um, he already told you guys how to get the juice. Make sure you check it out. The link will be in the description. Send him a message, buy from him and tell him that what Amaya told you to buy from him. Thank you so much. Like the video, subscribe and be part of the Million family. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Aya Maya. Peace out.